Sometimes you will be given a lot of collisions like this one behind you. Okay, so you have wow, four different collisions and you're asked to decide which one is not elastic. Of course, you could spend time, you could calculate the initial kinetic energy and compare with the final kinetic energy. You could keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But to be honest, ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, so when you are given the scenario this way, we would suggest that you use the shortcut, which is the relative velocity equation. Okay, so depending on... Uh, how it's being memorized to you, uh, I will take maybe u2 minus u1 is equal to v1 minus v2. Now, personally, I prefer 2, 1, 2, 1. So I'm going to add a negative sign in front, but it's up to you. Okay, so it's a bit easier for me to substitute la, because I look at the same ball. Okay, so it's really up to you. Of course, uh, in this case, if you want to compare them, it's easier to bring the negative sign inside. Okay, so up to you, my dudes, up to you. Okay, so back to the uh, situation in hand. This is one, now let this one be two. This is one, and now let this one be two. So in this case, I actually need two things. I need to compare u2 minus u1. So I'll probably just uh, draw a table at the side. Just extend the table a little bit. Okay, and then I also want to look for V1 minus V2. So this is what I'll do so that I can compare them easily. All right. So U2, I mean 2 minus 1, this will be 1 minus 4, which is negative 2. Okay. And then this one would be uh, 2 minus 5, which is negative 3. Mm -hmm. This one is elastic. So because they are equal, and say that elastic. Yes, elastic. Okay, let's do for the next one. This is two, this is one. I'll take two minus one first. So three minus six, this is negative three. Okay. And then this is one, this is two. I'll take one minus two. So four minus seven. So this is negative three. Hmm, interesting. Also elastic. Well, let's carry on. 1 and 2. First, I'll take u2 minus u1. So 2 minus 8. This will be negative 6. Okay. Then 1 minus 2. 5 minus 8. This is negative 3. So this is probably not elastic. So tentatively, the answer is C. But let's double check some more. This is 1. This is 2. So I'll take 4 minus 10, which is negative 6. This is 1. This is 2. I will take 6 minus 12, which is negative 6. So elastic. Yay. Okay. So in a nutshell, if you can build up a table and then you can compare the relative velocities, it's very quick. You can tell which one is elastic and which is not elastic. All right. That's it for this question. I'll see you in the next example video. Bye-bye.